Travel people! Whether you're a first-time traveler planning your vacation here in Japan or a seasoned traveler looking to enhance your knowledge about train transportation, this is for you. This vlog is a guide about Japan's intricate train system. Here's the complete guide on using trains in Japan. Let's go! Ikimashou! The Japanese rail network is often considered to be among the most advanced in the world. The large rail network is able to reach virtually all of the country's cities and towns. The trains in Japan are known for their reliability, cleanliness, and comfort. More than a hundred different firms, including Japan Railway Group, private rail companies, and third sector organizations, are responsible for the provision of rail services in Japan. When viewed through the eyes of a foreign travelers, the distinctions can be challenging to make. There are five kinds of trains that operate in Japan. The Shinkansen, Limited Express, Express, Rapid, and Local Trains. There are a total of nine Shinkansen lines in Japan, seven of which are high-speed Shinkansen lines and two are mini Shinkansen lines. <laughs> Shinkansen lines span practically the entirety of Japan's main islands, from the northern island of Hokkaido to the southern island of Kyushu. These lines connect all of the major cities in Japan. Six major Shinkansen levels. 1. Nozomi. The fastest Shinkansen service stops at only the largest station. It is available on Tokaido, Sanyo, and Kyushu Shinkansen lines. Nozomi trains cannot be used with Japan Rail Pass. 2. Hikari, the second fastest Shinkansen service on the Tokaido and Sanyo Shinkansen lines, which can be used with the JR Pass. 3. Mizuho, a limited stop Shinkansen service on Sanyo and Kyushu Shinkansen lines. It cannot be used with the JR Pass. 4. Kodama the third fastest Shinkansen service on Tokaido and Sanyo Shinkansen lines, which is covered by Japan Rail Pass. Kodama trains stop at more stations than Nozomi trains and Hikari trains. 5. Hayabusa, the fastest Shinkansen service on Hokkaido Shinkansen and Tohoku Shinkansen which is covered by JR Pass. 6. Sakura, a high-speed Shinkansen service on Kyushu Shinkansen and Sanyo Shinkansen. JR Pass can be used for Sakura trains. Limited Express, also called Special Express, is an express train service with limited stops at only major or most often used train stations. Limited Express lines cover more cities than Shinkansen. Express trains stop at a few more stops than Limited Express trains, take a bit more time than Limited Express trains on the same route. Currently, express trains are all operated by JR Group. Rapid trains stop at more stations than express trains. No extra fees will be charged when booking rapid train tickets. Local trains are the slowest type of train and they stop at every station. Like rapid trains, there is no surcharge be added to the ticket fare. The Japan Rail Pass is a fantastic choice for travelers, but there are still certain limitations such as the inability to use it for travel on the Nozomi and Mizuho trains operating on the Tokaido, Sanyo, and Kyushu Shinkansen lines and on privately operated trains. The Japan Rail Pass is reserved exclusively for visitors to the country, and in order to purchase one, you need to meet one of the following requirements. 1. You are a non-Japanese national who is temporarily visiting Japan from another country for the purpose of sightseeing under the entrance status of temporary visitor. 2. You are a Japanese person who is currently residing permanently outside of Japan. In order to acquire a Japan Rail Pass, you must first make the purchase through one of the official websites, and then you must activate the pass once you have arrived in Japan. There are also options available to buy a Japan Rail Pass inside of Japan, however the prices are significantly higher. After making a purchase of a voucher in another country, you will be able to activate it at any JR office, which are located in the majority of major airports and train stations. 
It gives you access to the majority of trains in Japan and covers 7, 14, or 21 days, which is usually sufficient for most travelers. If you are staying in Tokyo for a few days before traveling throughout Japan, using an IC card in the capital and then activating your Japan Rail Pass for the remainder of your stay may be less expensive. Paper tickets are available as single-ride train price tickets or day passes, and they may be purchased through vending machines located in all train stations. Single fare passes almost never work out to be more cost-effective over the course of a trip, but day passes may be suitable for certain travelers. There are many different day pass options available in Tokyo, including the Tokyo Metro Day Pass grants passengers access to all of the city's subway lines for the price of 600 yen for one day. The Toei and Tokyo Metro One Day Economy Pass gives passengers access to all Metro and Toei lines in Tokyo for the price of 900 yen for one day. The Tokyo Metropolitan District Pass grants passengers access to all JR local and express lines for a single day for the cost of 750 yen. There are many different kinds of specialized tickets in this category. These tickets, which are typically good for a period of at least 48 hours, provide a mix of different advantages that change depending on where in the world you are. The Greater Tokyo Pass, which is valid on all trains in Kanto, is one of the most popular types of special ticket in the Tokyo metropolitan region. Welcome to Tokyo Subway Ticket is a kind of transportation that can be used to get to and from Haneda Airport. Kikyu Misaki Maguro Day Trip Ticket for travel to the Misaki Miura area as well as for food in that region. Paper tickets must be purchased before each travel, whereas an IC card is required for the entire trip. They are frequently more expensive than paying for the trip with an IC card. In Japan, the most common type of train ticket is an IC card, which stands for Integrated Circuit Card. They are electronic train passes that come in one size that can be used by everyone and may be reloaded at any train station in the country. Although there are various versions such as Suika, Pasmo, Ikoka, Pitapa, Toika, Manaka, Sugoka, Nimoka, Hayakaken, and Kitaka, which depend on the region in which you acquire them, the Tokyo-centric Suika and Pasmo cards tend to be the most popular. The only difference is who sells them. JR East offers Suika, whereas Pasmo is sold by non-JR operators in Tokyo. IC cards can be purchased through vending machines located within train stations. The typical purchase price for a card is 500 yen, and any additional funds that are added to it will be kept as a balance on the card. You can get a refund for your IC card at the end of your trip. But, the money that is loaded onto it will remain good for another 10 years, even if it is not used. Bring your card to any of the ticket offices, which are located at the majority of the major stations around Japan. Train lines are color-coded, as are all stations, on the map. Major stations will be marked along the lines that connect them. For maps that display a specific route, a key along the side will indicate if a train is local, express, or airport express. The station names that a colored line passes through are where it comes to a stop. Monday through Sunday, Trains normally end around midnight and resume around 5 a.m. This is true throughout the country. Most map apps on your smartphone will show you the first and latest train times. Here are the train etiquette essentials in Japan that you should know. 1. Observing silence and refraining from making noise. Keeping noise to a minimum considering the crowded nature of trains in Japan and the considerable amount of time passengers spend commuting, it becomes imperative to be mindful of good etiquette that minimizes noise disruptions. 2. Putting phone on silent mode and avoiding phone conversations. For the Shinkansen, there is a designated area between train cars to make or receive a phone call. 3. Whenever possible, avoiding occupying priority seating areas. These seats hold a specific purpose as they are reserved for individuals such as the elderly, people with disabilities, pregnant women, and small children. 4. Allowing disembarking passengers to get out before boarding. 
Ensure that you form a line and allow passengers to exit the train before boarding. 5. Refraining from seated actions that cause stress to other passengers such as leg spreading. Share seat with others and do not put luggage on the seat. 6. Avoiding food or beverage consumption, except Shinkansen and other long-distance express trains. 7. During rush hour, there are train cars reserved for female passengers. Some commuter trains have cars that are marked for women only. These cars allow female travelers to avoid sharing close quarters with male passengers. 8. Ensuring safety on crowded trains and remaining vigilant against potential molesters. 9. Avoiding using your mobile device while walking at the station or on the train platform. Be careful when using your smartphone while moving on to and off trains. And that concludes our journey through the complete guide to using trains in Japan. I hope that this vlog has equipped you with knowledge and confidence to navigate Japan's extensive railway network like a seasoned traveler. See you in my next vlog, amiable people!